In this section of the training, we will be looking at the Program Monitoring Random Validations Process Handbooks. There is one handbook per program per program requirement that LEAs can use as they assemble their documentation in preparation for submitting it for review to the Texas Education Agency Federal Program Compliance Division. When LEAs are notified that they have been selected for a random validation, there will be a link in the email to the particular handbook that pertains to the program and the program requirement that the LEA was selected to participate in. The first section of the handbook is an introduction that just provides general information related to the random validation process. The next section of the handbook includes a table that describes information related to the particular random validation requirement that was selected. The first item that's described is a general description of the statutory requirement. The second item in the table includes the statutory citation and language from the Every Student Succeeds Act statute. The third piece of information includes how the particular item is referenced in the ESSA program specific provisions and assurances. And the last piece of information includes how the item is listed in the compliance report program compliance self check. The following section of the handbook is of great importance to LEAs that are in preparation for assembling the documentation requested to be submitted. LEAs are asked to include the following selected documentation referenced in the table below in order to demonstrate compliance with the program requirement that's been described. TEA will utilize the following table to determine if the LEA submitted sufficient documentation to support LEA compliance. LEAs that submit sufficient documentation to support LEA compliance will be assigned a MET requirement status for the requirement. LEAs that submit insufficient documentation will be assigned an improvement needed status for the requirement. The table below shows uh, an example of what it will look like. Each type of selected documentation that is required will have a number as well as the name of what the documentation is that is required as well as the description of the acceptable documentation that will provide additional details related to the documentation that's been requested. Keep in mind that documenting overall compliance for a program requirement may require several forms of documentation to be maintained locally and available upon request by TEA and or an auditor. To ensure overall compliance with program requirements, LEA should refer to the program guide and or other program related resources that reference the multiple forms of documentation required to be maintained locally. The documentation requested for this submission during the random validation process may not include all forms of documentation that are required to be maintained locally. The next sections of the handbook include instructions for assembling documentation and instructions for submitting documentation. These instructions will be reviewed thoroughly in the next section of this training. The final page of the handbook contains the phase one random validation timeline. This is for the LEA's reference so that they could see all the dates that are associated with the phase one random validation process. This concludes a section of the training related to the program monitoring random validations process handbooks. If you have any questions, please email us at essasupport at tea.texas.gov. Thank you.